Oh, hello, little readers. Welcome to Nighty Night by Flashlight, read in Ruthie's reading room. I'm Ruthie, and this is my buddy, Ja. We're here to read our bedtime story together. I'm so excited and happy you've come to join us. Is everybody ready for bed? I know Ja and I are, but we don't want to start without you. Let's go over the Nighty Night by Flashlight bedtime checklist. <sighs> Knock, check. Put your teeth. Check. Pajama on, check. Bedtime jewelry. Dot net. Make sure you have your stuffy and flashlight. Now it's time for Nighty Night by Flashlight. So turn off the lights. Ready, set, shine. Turn on your flashlight. Let's begin and make sure you watch to the end. Happy Canada Day, little readers. I hope you've had a wonderful day celebrating Canada's birthday. The story tonight for Nighty Night by Flashlight is Viola Desmond, A Hero for Us All. Written by Sarah Howden. Pictures by Nick Crane. Let's begin. It was my birthday. I opened my card from Grandma. Inside was a $10 bill. Thank you, I said. I gave her a hug. And look who's on it, she said. It was a smiling lady. She looked kind. That's Viola Desmond, my grandma said. Who's that, I asked. Grandma looked surprised. Let me tell you a story, she said. One day, Viola Desmond was driving. She was on her way to Sydney, Nova Scotia. It was 1946. A long time ago. But all of a sudden, her car made a noise. Clunk, 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 bang! Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good, does it, kids? Viola found a garage. Your car needs a new part, the mechanic told her. The car wouldn't be ready until the next day. Oh, dear, said Viola. What would you do if your car was broken? But then Viola shrugged. I'll get a hotel room, she said. I'll make the best of it. Make lemonade out of lemons, huh? Viola didn't have a free night very often. I'll go to the movies, she said with a smile. The theater was called the Roseland. One ticket, please, said Viola at the booth. I'd like a downstairs seat. The downstairs tickets cost more, but they were worth it for the view. Viola got her ticket. She went in and sat down. Then she felt a tap on her shoulder. Who could that be? I think you have a balcony seat, the usher said. Viola took out her ticket. The usher was right. Her ticket said balcony. Viola went back to the booth. Can I have a downstairs ticket instead, Viola asked. The clerk looked at her. Mm, her arms are crossed. She doesn't seem like she's being friendly. We don't sell downstairs tickets to you people, the clerk said. Now Viola understood. What do you think that was about, kids? It was because she was black. The theater had a racist rule. Only white people could sit downstairs. Now that's not fair, is it? Viola wanted to cry, but she took a deep breath and stood up straight. It isn't fair, Viola said. So Viola walked back inside and she sat downstairs. You need to move, the manager said. Doesn't look like she's moving. Now who's got her arms crossed? But Viola stayed put. I paid for my ticket, she said. I just want to watch the movie. The manager's face turned red, sort of like the leaf on the Canadian flag. He stomped off. He came back with a police officer. Wow, can you believe that? just for wanting to watch a movie. You need to sit upstairs, said the officer. No, thank you, said Viola. Then you'll have to come with me, the officer said. He took Viola to jail. She had to stay there overnight. That's a harsh punishment. The next day, Viola was sent home. All she wanted was to rest, but she knew she had more to do. Viola gathered all her friends. Viola told them what had happened. Black people are equal, she said. We deserve better. 
that's true. The word began to spread. Viola had taken a stand. Now others felt like they could too. Look, she's on the front of the newspaper. Viola spoke up for equality, Grandma said. She was very brave. And slowly, change did come. I looked down at my $10 bill. I want to keep this someplace special, I said, so I can remember to be brave, just like Viola. The end. Well, that was a nice story. And it's a true story. A story of Canadian history. I hope you're getting sleepy and ready for bed. Give Mommy and Daddy a kiss goodnight. And remember... The best place to read is wherever you are with a book. And happy Canada Day. Please remember to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so you know when the next Nighty Night by Flashlight bedtime story will be read. Sweet dreams, little readers. Good night. Hey kids, send me a picture of your favorite stuffy. Include your stuffy's name and why it's your favorite. Get help from your grown-up and don't forget to subscribe. Details in the description below.